So this is the Tascam 60D MK2 and uh, it's wired as follows. It's running on uh, four AA batteries, rechargeables, 1.2 volt and um, 3000 milliamps. The battery status looks like it's full. Uh, the batteries uh, were checked to be good. I just got them out of the charger. It's only getting the signal into channel 1, which is the XLR Neotrix connector, through um, XLR cable. And coming from uh, the microphone that I'm holding in my hand is a Sennheiser E825S. It's not a powered microphone, uh, so the phantom power of the unit has been turned off, um, such that uh, the... Uh, setting on the first channel it's set up to mic the other two settings would be line to the left or mic plus phantom to the right it's set up to mic because we don't have any phantom power and uh, the volume here it's at uh, about two o'clock um on the dial uh, now here's uh, if i turn it all the way up uh, also, the uh, there's no attenuation and there's no uh, cutoff filter that's been set. The recording it's going on 16-bit, 48k, and uh, I'm speaking into the microphone uh, about uh, two inches away from it. I also have uh, I don't see any any uh, like the view meters on the screen here. They don't even get to the uh, arrow, which is supposed to be like zero dB. They they go around like up to about minus three, and I can see the difference. Of uh, um, I have uh, the set up uh, recording in dual mode, which means it records on one channel mono and then records on a second channel with an attenuation of uh, what's been set to be minus six dB. So in case uh, the signal gets too loud, the second channel would get a uh, less distorted or, or non-distorted version of the signal. It's just an insurance uh, channel um, for uh, loud signals. Anything else that I could say here? Yeah, the slate was set up to on, and you heard the uh, tone at the beginning. Uh, it's set up to on at the beginning and at the end, so it should have like two tones um, like that, and and that's like a uh, minus 18 dB from what they were stating here in on the uh, on the screen. Um, that's about it. That's all I can say about the setup. Oh yeah, and I'm listening to it uh, with the volume turned all the way up to 10, which is the maximum volume on the pot. Uh, I'm listening with the the Sennheiser, um, the the proverbial headset that is the um, MDR seventy five oh six. There is a little bit of hiss in the background. The volume is turned all the way up, um, but from the, what the some review were saying that uh, that hiss will not be present in the recording, and um, that will be seen once I take the card and. Uh, dump it in the computer also the card that i'm using it's a one gig card and uh even though it was set to and formatted the unit wanted to format it again which makes me wonder if there's a proprietary format for these cards that would not be readable in a regular card reader uh, this is it for now and now i'm going to turn the volume of the uh, on the pot there for channel one i'm going to turn it all the way up and listen to the sound, the noise, the, the white noise, as they call it, without saying anything for a little bit. Here it comes. So this is with the pot maxed out, and uh, now I'm looking at the levels. I'm talking the same way as I was talking before. Now the levels go on the screen beyond the little uh, triangle, which makes me think that uh, I am going beyond 0 dB. Uh, only on the first channel. The second channel kind of like uh, hugs the, uh, the line there on the 0 dB. The first channel goes above it, um, maybe to 3 to 6 dB. And uh, as I said, the uh, pot, it's maxed out. It's all the way at, uh, what, is, what would it be, like a 5 o'clock um, on the turn, on the dial. 
or oh, the rest of the channels are turned off since oh, I'm not using them anyway. So they are like oh, down to zero or minimum. And uh, this is it. This is the sound of uh, the Sennheiser microphone through the Tascam 60D MK2. And the noise that you hear behind it is the noise that uh, it records. Uh, it was set up in the gain in the menu to medium. They have three positions. They have minimum, medium, and, and maximum. So um, this is medium gain in, in the software and then maxed out on the pot, on, on the body of the recorder. Okay, now here's the recording that I'm going to do another test for, and uh, the pot on the body um, next to uh, channel one. Uh, it's set up now at 12 o'clock, and uh, there's a significant uh, less gain that I'm seeing on the VU meters on the screen. Um, I would say that it goes only up to about minus six uh, or, or minus 12 dB. I'm not sure what the marks are. And uh, um, it looks like uh, it, uh, it's probably a minus 12 because the second channel is set up to minus 6. So it's less, 6 dB less uh, gain on the second channel that I'm seeing here on screen. And uh, it looks like that's about half of what those marks are on the scale. So um, I'm still speaking into it at the same distance, about 2 inches away from the microphone. And uh, same tone of voice, the same, the same delivery, I would say. And uh, the noise is less, of course. And uh, I would let uh, the noise uh, be heard by itself for a while, and then I will cut it off. So this was 12 o'clock noise, and now let's go to um, 2 o'clock noise. This is a 2 o'clock noise with um, increasing the levels. And this is 3 o'clock noise, which looks like oh, it's it's incremental. It's, it's not a... a, a, a a linear scale on the pot. It looks like it's going in jumps in in, in steps. So this would be at the maximum um, um five o'clock to say. And that would be it.